on the tee from Sweden, Lynn Grant. Again, you feel a, a lot of pressure on her shoulders, one of the leading lights on the race to Costa del Sol this season and being from Sweden as well. Absolutely, Richard. Yeah, home event. She's badly formed. She's looked absolutely sensational. First two days, driver on the first hole, slight dog leg right to left. Really want to get off to a good start here. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was a confident looking start. <laughs> Two right down the middle in the penultimate pairing. It's going to be really important the first four holes for Lynn Grant. She's, uh, she's played them one over par the last two days. She's been a slightly slow out of the gates and then galloped along from five onward. That looked a good move. Oh, too good a move. Just powered it through. Some far off line. That's as you say, Ali, you've got to get off to a good start. Nerves would be jangling a little bit here. Awkward, not a lot of green to good. work with. Had the fringe there. That's pretty good from them, guys. It was a big error, missing the green from how close she was to it. Big putt for Grant. Three and a half feet for the par. Confidently hold. Right in the back of the hole, that's just what you want. That was mighty impressive. Played the first couple of days with Annika Sorenstam, had nerves from that. Now, nerves from playing in the penultimate pairing. So many dog legs around this golf course. That is left for Lynn Grant. How far? Got a soft bounce. Might have just settled into an awkward lie. Tricky with the pen over on the left. Forfeiting a little bit of a, her chance to attack. There it is there. Not a bad lie, actually, in the end for Lingra. It looks OK. Nice and bare. She'll take that, especially given the shot she's got to hit. Probably about 80% lob wedge. Just look at her stance again. <laughs> Won't be asking for that one back anytime soon. Lingra, great shot to hear from the left rough. Yeah, she's up and running. Fourth hole. Lorenzo Beer has found the green. What can Grant do? 57, 7 iron. That tee doesn't look like there's much green up there at all, but there is. Save a shot. European Tour start as a pro. Can she win number three? Although there's not much to it yardage-wise, just the 71 yards. Lynn Grant's coming out the rough. It's going to release. Trying to carry the bunker, and the second portion of this green does work front to back. Yeah, that'll release out to the, the back edge. Last 10 paces of, of that green do. That that's kind of the one position she couldn't really attack from. And again, that's a, that's a decent shot, like she did on the previous hole. So it's going to be slow back up the hill. I am seeing a little bit of movement in this. Hint off your right. That was seriously good from where she was. It's a long par three for sure, but for Lynn Grant, 172 yards. Wind's definitely picking up a little bit. It's into off your right. Five iron carries about 180, and that's the number that you're playing to. Pins in the back right. Knows a no-go zone. So you're very much looking at the heart of the green here. Super shot. Then Grant. They're just looking at the flags today. Within one, Lynn Grant. Not that time round, but she's she's had a better start than uh, the last couple of days. Those birdies at three and four boosting her. She likes to hit a high draw. She's been driving it beautifully so far. Just need to see another. Drop. Yep. One drop. 
stop. That's fine. Well, not Pollock. For Lynn Grant. Just approaching the green from the most perfect angle. Should be a four iron. <coughs> Expecting this to release as soon as it hits the green. Oh. How unlucky. Yeah, wasn't it? Mm. Expect to bounce from that bank, kick it left, but it didn't. It just stuck in there, maybe hit a bit of sand. Eagle part for Liz Grant. Long way away. Take a birdie. She'd love an eagle. <laughs> Lynn Grant with a huge move. Elevated par three, 128 yards, playing uphill. Got a bit of a ridge beyond the flag as well, but probably not really looking to use it. Just pitch it all the way, get it to stop. What's that going to do from there? Lynn Grant getting a little extra bonus yardage. We hear the crowd willing it down the slope. This isn't a lengthy putt, but it's still a fiddler. You almost have to go up and over a subtle mound. It's when a difficult putt up. to commit to, Jamie. Yeah, it looks it. You've just got to trust your line here, Incy. I think that was it. I'm with you. Oh. It's just that it was on the low side for Lynn. It's a short par four, Ali. I mean, the run out's 232 yards. The wind is into off your left. Pins right at the front. You really want to lay up to your favourite yardage for your next shot. To a full number as well. Get that spin. Looking very composed right now, Lynn Grant. Very impressive. She is. She always has been, ever since she kind of burst on the scene. I mean, Lynn Grant's a smart player. She knows what she's doing, but I just think this is an awkward number to leave yourself to a front pin. Been working so hard on their wedges. Oh. Practice pays off. I'm with you, Incy. But that was a great shot from where she was. Honestly, I'm really struggling to see any break in this. If there's any, it's subtle. Yeah! I'm not sure she expected that to do that. But who cares? She's tied to the lead. Driver again, the club of choice on the tee for Lynn Grant. Why wouldn't she? It's been pretty reliable this week, uh, Grant. Another piped down the middle. Any closer to the pin for Lynn Grant off the tee, probably would have questioned landing it short, trying to run it up this tier. 79 yards though, wind a little bit into. I mean, the flag's not moving, the breeze is definitely there. I'd imagine she's looking to pitch this all the way. We've got a good eight yards beyond the flag. Get it on the top tier, give yourself a chance. Beautifully done. Fabulous round of golf, a little puff of the cheeks. She'll be feeding it. Terrific attitude she has. It's one of those little left to right, is this? I just like that she backed away and resettled then. She's done it a couple of times today. And every time she's done it, she's been rewarded. What about this time round? Just a little leaker. A wonderful way to cap a fabulous round of golf. And history beckons to Lynn Grant at the Volvo Car Scandinavian Mix. 66, 16 under par. A three shot lead and a hug from her boyfriend at the end of it all.
Lynn, thanks for joining us. Many congratulations on a wonderful round of 66. We're thoroughly enjoying watching you do your thing. Just talk about it from your point of view. Um, a very solid day again. I found, really found my swing yesterday on the range, and this morning was a good warm up. Uh, a bit stressed, but that's pretty much a good thing to me. Um, just got out there, hit really good drives. I think I hit pretty much every fairway, kind of. Um, just on the greens and solid putting. You look super comfortable in the situation you're in. Does that come naturally to you or is it something you've worked at? I think I practiced throughout all the years playing as an amateur, being in kind of um, the same situations, being nervous, kind of how to handle that and get the best out of myself. You're the only woman in the top 15, so you're carrying the flag for the women. <laughs> right. Is that inspiring, intimidating? Will there be pressure on you or will you say, this? I'm going to do this for the girls? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think it's fun. I'm, I mean, I'm here to do my golf and I hope that takes me all the way and if it does then I'll I'll take it for the women I guess. <laughs> There's a strong possibility you'll play with Henrik Stenson tomorrow in the final group in front of your home fans just talk about that prospect and the opportunity. That would be shaky I guess um, I mean just if someone told me five years ago that I was going to play with a British Open winner then um, and possibly beat him in a last day tournament um, I mean it's insane but it's so fun um, I hope there will be a lot of people out there which I guess it will uh, which would be really fun. What would it mean to you to win and for the women to win this mixed tournament? I mean I hope that people realize that we're actually getting <laughs> getting there um, we're getting close to the guys and kind of having uh, the same journey as the men have had for the last 30 40 years so um, to really just put women's golf on the map a little bit more than it is at the moment. Um, I mean, we can still hit it far enough and hit it close to the pins and hold some putts and do good scoring. So, Fabulous plan today, well done. Thank you. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.